How's it going, super friends? I just thought that I'd pop in here just for a quick second before the video starts and let you know that I'm well aware that this video will not appeal to, will not be for everybody, and that's because the subject nature, we're dealing with action figures that are targeted towards three to six year olds. But I love these figures so much, and so does my youngest son. And I know that there are adult collectors out there who have maybe bought these for themselves, or parents out there who are also adult collectors who bought these for your kids, hoping to maybe light a little spark to get your children into DC figures and just DC comics in general. And these are a great doorway, a great entrance into both of those things if you are a parent for your kids. So I thought, let's just do it for the archive. Let's make this video. Let's show my kids DC Imagine X figure collection. It would have been cool if he could be in the video, but the video would have dragged on way, way, way too long because the nature of kids, he's not a child performer. He's just my little boy, and it would have been really difficult to edit the video down into anything that was consumable if he was actually in it because there are just so many of them. So let's just... We'll just get on with the video from here. Disclaimer is now out there. I know this video won't be for everybody, but now you have my reasoning for why I made it, and we can move on. How's it going, super friends? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brad, the DC Universe Geek, and today we're gonna have a look at my seven-year-old son's DC Comics Imagine Next action figure collection. Why? Well, because they're so darn cute. Let's start with Batmans, the first of which is this black and gray with a yellow oval, very classic looking Batman. This is one of my son's favorites, and you can see why because he's darn cool looking. Here's a Rebirth Batman. This is also one of his favorites and one of mine too. I really like the look of this figure. It pops. Here is the Detective Comics 27 single carded first appearance Batman figure. Probably one of my favorites and again, one of Robert's favorites too. Here's the Nightfall Batman. It utilizes a lot of the same sculpted detail as some of the other Batmans like this one here and, well, and this one here. Same body torso, but you know what? A very, very cool Batman figure. And here's Batfleck in all of his uh, Ben Affleck glory. He played with this one so much he's wearing the paint off. This is definitely one of his favorites. And then he's got Scuba Batman. This is one of those blind bags that he first opened it and I thought, oh great, he got Scuba Batman, but he's actually really cool looking. He reminds me of the one that was part of that early 2000s Batman series. I mean, he looks nothing like him, but for some reason he reminds me of him. He's also got Ninja Batman. He came as part of a two-pack with Cassandra Kane. He's also got not one, not two, but three of the exact same Batman. But I'm just gonna display the one up here. I'm not gonna display all three. It would be kind of redundant. He's also got two of this Batman, a black one that definitely reminds me of Batman Returns because of the way the abs work on this armor. It's just your basic Batman sculpt that's been used many times, but now it's all in black and it's incredibly effective. Let's stick this one up here. He's also got what I believe is their first attempt at an all black Batman. He's had this one for ages and it is so loose and wibbly, as well as this weird blue ugly camo-ish looking Batman that came with a vehicle, and this equally as kind of ugly looking Batman. But remember, these are made for kids and he likes these very much. He doesn't care if they look classic or not. And then he's also got from a blind bag, the unmasked Batman, the Bruce Wayne Batman. And you can see how much he likes this one because the hair's all scuffed up. He's played with this one a lot. And finally, he's also got these here two armored Batmans. This one came with his gigantic bat mech. And this one here, I don't remember where it came from. <laughs> he gets so many of them, but they're, they're different figures. They actually have a different body sculpt. Next, let's move on to the Bat family by having a little peek at his most favorite non-Batman Batman character, the Red Hood. You can tell because that bat on his chest is so worn off. Next, here's a little peek -roo at Damian Wayne Robin. He looks pretty darn fantastic. I know he's one of Robert's favorites and he's also one of mine. Next, we have Duke Thomas. One of the best bat sidekicks, very underrated, got him in a blind bag for him. Robert also has three Batgirls, one that's painted to look a bit more classic, but it's the same sculpt for all three of them. It's the uh, Batgirl of Burnside body sculpt, just repainted. And here again, it's the same sculpt, it's just she's the unmasked version. You there, you there, and you there. Here's a classic looking Robin, looks like he's a mix of Tim Drake and classic Dick Drayson, because you got the Tim Drake symbol right here, and you've also got just the three little strings across here, but he's not wearing any pants. <laughs> and Tim Drake's suit, he, he had pants, that was one of the big changes. And he also stole Superman's boots and he spray painted them green. Good job. If it ain't the hubcaps they're stealing. Here's the Huntress, she's perhaps a little bit worse for wear. The dog got a hold of the suit, 
and may have chewed on it just a, a little bit. Like the first day he brought it home. Good job, Wilson. Very cool that he did manage to get a Huntress. When I go on the figure hunt, I actually go for him as well and always check the Imagine X section. Here we have Cassandra Kane. And look at her, look at that. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice that she had those right there. She's got little stringy ribbons right there on her arms. This is the one that came in the two pack with the Ninja Batman. He's also got Batman Beyond. He came with a Batman Beyond motorcycle, which was a cool accessory for him to come with. He likes this guy a lot. He always plays with him, only he calls him Ninja Batman. Here we have a heavily played with Tim Drake Red Robin. Definitely one of the cooler looking Robin figures. His cape has been chewed on by the dog. I didn't even notice that. But this is all play scuffs. So you can tell he likes this one. And finally, we have Imagine Next version of a Carrie Kelly Robin. She came in a blind bag. Not too shabby. She's actually a very cool looking figure. Well, well, now it's not even. Hold on. I'll just put Batman up here to, to even the shot out. There we go. Before I go any further, I do want to mention that he does, in fact, have Nightwing, but I don't know where it is. They're so small, it could have fallen behind the sofa or something, but he has Nightwing somewhere. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot to show this guy. Ah, oh, it's Thomas Wayne Batman. I should have shown him with the Batman figures, but I totally forgot. And next on to the super characters. For this one here, they've obviously gone with a more classic Superman paint job. Although we can tell that this is definitely supposed to be the new 52 version of Superman. So it's the exact same figure, only it, it's been painted just a little bit different with the trunks and the belt being yellow. Oh, and I guess you can count the fact that the S's are painted differently. I prefer the S when it doesn't have the outlines. I'm not a fan of the black outlines around the S. And here is the very first Imagine X figure I ever purchased for any of the kids ever. And Jason owned this, oh God, like a decade ago, maybe over a decade ago. And this has seen some love and hard times. Look at that face. That is so scuffed up. Next we have John Henry Irons. Probably one of the most fantastic looking attempts at this character, which is weird because it's an Imagine Next, but I think he looks really awesome. He has a blind bag car zor -El. I had to buy a lot of blind bags just to get this one for him. You can't have the complete Superman family without having Supergirl. And he's also got Connor Kent. He tends to play with this one a lot too. And so it's surprising he's actually in such good condition for a figure that every time he plays with Imagine Next, He'll usually include Connor in the mix. Next, he's got two Wonder Woman figures. This one here, as far as I'm concerned, is inspired either by Rebirth or from the Batman v Superman, her appearance in the DC film universe. And this one here is a much more classic looking Wonder Woman. Both of them are very cool though. Hmm. Let's balance this shot out a bit better. You go there, you go there, and you can go here. Next, we have the Flashpoint Universe version of Wonder Woman. A very cool attempt at the character. And Imagine Next again is, is killing it with these little guys. Here are two different versions of Hal Jordan. I believe this was the first one that was bought. It's really old, actually, and it came with a jet, I believe, a green jet. While this one is definitely newer, maybe it's only a year or two years old, certainly in better condition. And finally, he's got John Stewart Green Lantern. He came in a blind bag, and he was one that Robert was really excited to have because he likes John Stewart. He actually prefers John Stewart over Hal Jordan. So that's those guys. And next, I'll just show you his basic DC heroes. I call them the Leaguers. He's got Firestorm. This one is probably my top three or four for the Imagine Next figures. Next, we have the Flash, Barry Allen in his Rebirth suit. What a darn cool figure, and this one is absolutely Robert's favorite Imagine X DC character. Without a doubt, hands down. He's also got Scott Free, Mr. Miracle. I've always liked his name, Scott Free. You get off, Scott Free. <laughs> I think it's a fantastic name for Mr. Miracle when he's not in his escape artist superhero disguise costume, uniform. You know what I'm saying? There he is. He's right here. We got the classic looking Aquaman. He's actually got two of these. I'm not sure how he got two, but this is certainly one of the cooler looking ones. I love the, the fish scale armor. It's all sculpted on there and the great big A on his belt. Fantastic little guy. Next, we have the Imagine X DC action figure lines finest, Dr. Fate. This one turned out really, really well. This is probably one of my favorites. Next, he's got Red Tornado, certainly one of the ones that I think is one of the most eye-catching. Next, we have the original Captain Marvel of Antiquity, the genuine article now known as Shazam because Marvel copyrighted the name, bunch of jerks. Next, he's got Victor Stone Cyborg. I believe there's actually a few different versions of Cyborg, but this is the only one he's managed to get his hands on. He's also got Jaina, one half of the Wonder Twins. I never did find her brother. He's got Captain Atom. 
This is a simplistic but fantastic looking rendition of the character. He doesn't play with it much because he doesn't really know who Captain Adam is. Next he's got the Black Canary. What a fantastic looking rendition of the character. And on the back of her jacket here you can see she's got the same image as she has in the comics on the back of her jacket. That image of the canary. So kudos to them for making a fantastic rendition of the character. Fish, net, tights and all. He's got Vixen and I believe that she came in a blind bag. He doesn't really know who this character is that much. So he doesn't tend to reach for her quite as fast as he would for some of the others. And then finally, he's got... Hawkman, and this is one of my personal favorites. I'm, you know, not super keen on the fact that he's actually wearing body armor underneath his harness, but a very, very cool version of Hawkman nonetheless. Yeah, and that's the rest of his, you know, leaguer characters that aren't Superman, Batman, or Wonder Woman. Moving on to his villains, he's got Cyborg Superman. This is definitely one of my favorite villains. He doesn't reach for it quite as much for some reason. I'm not really sure why, because it's such a fantastic looking version. Next is the Black Flash. This is definitely one of Robert's absolute favorite Imagine X figures. He plays with it every time he plays with the Imagine X guys. He's got Darkseid. This is probably my favorite of all of his villains though. Yeah, definitely my favorite. He's got the egotistical Superman hating Lex Luthor. I I like this one. There are a few different versions of Lex Luthor, but this is the one that I wanted to get him because I just think it, it looks the best. He's also got Brainiac. Very cool looking figure. I believe that he was a blind bag find. He's got a Parademon. He actually came alongside Darkseid in a two-pack, if I remember correctly. He's also got Black Manta. Two of him, actually. One with the helmet and one without. They're completely different sculpts also, by the way. They're not the same at all. I prefer the one with his great big helmet rather than no helmet. You guys can go on either side right here. He's got Lobo, the main man. Definitely one of my favorite Imagine X figures and really surprised they made him because he tends to be a more mature character, but he's never looked so cute. He's also got the mustachioed Sinestro, which is very cool because Green Lantern needs someone to be his arch nemesis, and here he is. And finally, for his non bat villain rogues gallery, we have Metallo, and he kind of has an action feature. You can move his arms or whatever, and you can see his kryptonite skeleton. <laughs> I don't know why he has a kryptonite skeleton, but down in there, you can actually see he's also got the kryptonite heart. That's ah, a kid's toy. What are you gonna do? But yeah, them's be his DC villains that are non Batman. Oh wait, I did it again. I forgot one. We have Cheetah, a Wonder Woman villain. I don't know how I missed her. Anyway, here's what she looks like. So for the first of the Bat villains, I thought that I would look at Catman because Catman turned out really well. He was a blind bag and Robert likes this guy a lot. Rachel Ghoul. Pretty good rendition of the character. Got him from a blind bag. He came with a gigantic sword. Also, he has Joker, Joker, and Joker. He has three Jokers. I suppose we should put them up top since the Joker is the king of Batman's rogues gallery. There. Next, he's got two penguins. I'm not really sure which one I like better. I kind of feel like this one's got a cooler looking body and this one, no, you know what? I like that one better. This guy looks like the, the planter's peanuts mascot. They can go right there. Next, we have Deadshot. This guy was a blind bag find. One of Robert's favorites. Comes with this great big contraption that he wears. <laughs> I think it's a bit overkill, but this is perfect for Robert. This is actually why Robert likes him. Next, we have Riddler and Riddler. And Riddler is a prime example of how far Imagine Next has come with their DC characters in as much as the sculpted detail they're willing to put into, or maybe how much money they're able to put into the tooling of these figures, because... This early one doesn't have a lot of detail, and this one in the pinstripe suit is just loaded with it. I like this one better. Next, he's got Black Mask. Black Mask turned out pretty good. And Two-Face. And I think that Two-Face turned out pretty good as well. Next, we have Bane and Harley Quinn. He loves the Bane figure, but hardly ever touches Harley, probably because her forehead is so abnormally huge and, and bulbous looking. He's also got Mr. Freeze and Scarecrow. This Mr. Freeze sculpt has been around for a long time. I don't know about the Scarecrow. I believe this is one of the newer sculpts for Scarecrow. I really like it. He looks more like a Halloween costume version, but, but still very cool. He's got two versions of Deathstroke. This one with the no mask was a blind bag version, and the one with the mask was... I think he was a blind bag version as well. I prefer, obviously, the one with the mask, because some people like to see Slade's face more often. 
I think he's more sinister looking when he's wearing the mask. Next, he's got Poison Ivy, and I think that she turned out quite nice as well. An old school Killer Croc. I believe that they've got a different design for him now. With He's got the metal jaw chompy on this one, but he's got two of this one, actually, and the other one's really scuffed up. And finally, he's got Firefly. I believe that he was a blind bag find as well. He comes with wings, but I think Robert's lost those. So there you have it. That is the sum total of my son's DC Superheroes Imagine Next Action Figure Collection. He loves them. He plays with them every single day. And I find them in weird hidden places around the house, too. Like, just today, I found Shazam and the Black Flash under a flower pot. Why? I don't know. Because he makes these great, big, grandiose stories that he makes with all these figures. And he puts his playsets all over the living room or wherever. And sometimes he loses them. Thus, why we can't find Nightwing. He was probably part of a great big story, and then he put him somewhere and can't remember where he is because, well, he's just a seven-year-old. <laughs> I remember when I was seven, I had the brain of a sieve. Well, I'm 40 and I still have the brain of a sieve. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching everyone today. It means a lot to me, and I bet you it means a lot to Robert. I will see you in the next video, and until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye for now. I just sounded like... Who's that guy that says take care of yourselves and each other? Who's the guy that says that? What is his name? I just sounded like Jerry Springer. Take care of yourselves and each other. I can never say that again. I don't want to sound like Jerry Springer.